nothing. It says starting kind of in gray, but there's a, ah, there, it's now we're live. And, and I get that big. Oh, we're live. Thank you all. So sorry. We had some little technical difficulties. Um, and it's already 801. I am so sorry. Um, can you all let me know in comments if you can hear me? My name is Sandy Cook, and uh, it's Thursday night, and it's time for Compline. Whew! So glad we're here. Um, several things I wanted to talk about right before we started. Saturday is the Epiphany Parish-wide Day of Prayer. There is a sign-up genius that has been created, and if Amanda Garcia is on her game, she can put a link to that somewhere. So you can sign up if you haven't already signed up. You only have to pray for 15 minutes. You can do this. It's not a long time. Uh, it start, the slots start at 8.30 in the morning, Saturday morning, after morning prayer, they go till 8 o'clock Saturday night, and then we'll have Compline. And so we've got prayers going all day. We're praying for the parish, for COVID-19, and there'll be suggestions on, on what to pray for and how to pray. And I just really encourage you to do that at some point during your day on Saturday. Um, also, this is a non-techie speaking. I, I want, I'm supposed to encourage you to share the stream. Not a clue how you do that, but if you know how to share the stream of this Compline, do it. Um, and that being said, let's go ahead and start. We're going to read Compline. It begins on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. You can go to BCP, Book of Common Prayer, online dot org and look for daily office and then look for Compline and it is all there for you free. Um, I'm by myself so I'm going to be reading all the parts but there is if you're looking at it there's some that the officiant reads and some that the people reads and I'll try to do a little gesture but I don't know if that'll work or not. All right. Phew. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Alleluia. We're going to read Psalm 31. It's on page 129. We're going to read it responsibly by whole verse. And then Sunday, it happens to be the psalm for Sunday, so it will already sound familiar at that point. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. And then we're on 131 in the middle of the page. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, 
You are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Then over on page 132, the versicles and responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then over on page 134, if you want to say this prayer with me, please do. <clears throat> Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. And now we're going to have intercessions. Let me see if we've got any in. I forgot to ask you to put any intercessions in the comment sections. Um, oh, good. There's one. We pray, dear Lord, for Tracy and her tests tomorrow. Give wisdom to those who read them and peace to Tracy while she takes them and waits for the results. We ask for healing for Vivian Brotherton, for Jorge and Car Caratina, for Gordon Collins, for Polly. We pray for those alone, for those not alone who might like to be alone even for just a moment, for those having to work and those who are out of work. We give you thanksgivings for those of us who are well, and we're especially thankful for those who work to keep us well, and to keep us fed, and to keep us well supplied. Be with us, Lord. Grant wisdom to our world that we may come through this. Amen. Now, continuing on page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And say this again with me. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.
Thank you all. Thank you for coming. I'm so sorry. The computer just didn't, it and Facebook didn't want to do this, but we're on now. I see there is a link for the sign up for the Epiphany Day of Prayer. So go there, find a time you can pray. If the time is already full and that's the time you have, pray then anyway. It will work. Thank you all and stay safe and dry this evening. Bye.